2023, what will happen if Igbo don't become Nigerian's president? Ohanyeje's chieftain gives explanation. Hello, my wonderful people. It's really unfair if you consider the number of years, not 10, not 20, not 30, not 40, not 50. Over 60 years, Nigeria gained her independence. Guess what? Not a single Igbo man has occupied the number one position. As much as it's not turn by turn, but we must have the policy of equality, justice, and in Nigeria anyway, those things do not, uh, do not hold water. We are saying now that they are rationing between uh, North and South, uh, who to become a uh, Nigerian's president, rotation and what have you. But they've never considered that one region has never produced the president. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. 2023, what will happen in Nigeria if Igbo don't become Nigerian's president? Ohanyeze Chieftain explain. Chooks, a former national publicity secretary of Ohanyeze Zindigbo, has disclosed what will happen if the Southeast fails to produce Nigerian's president in 2023. Chu said the Southeast will restore result to its option if the region fails to produce the country's president come 2023. Speaking with Daily Post, Chu said the Southeast has what it takes, all the options A, B, C, which will which will be restored to it if Southeast fail to produce Nigeria's next president. The former deputy spokesman of Ohanyeze's urged politicians, stakeholders to come together for the Southeast president candidate. Says political parties should also file in someone from the region. According to Chooks, I am not God to know what will happen in the next one minute, but it will be the height of injustice for Nigeria to allow such a thing to happen it has it's just like june 12th when it's happened the yorubas wanted to scare nigeria but nigerians refused and brought the two olu olu shegun obasanjo and olu fayo and the nation was pacified. When Obasanjo was in prison, Ekweme formed the People Democratic Party, but they denied him the presidency to satisfy the Yorubas. This was why everywhere kept calm. Meanwhile, the Yorubas had already left the country at that point in time. Now, Nandi Kanu and others are saying we are not happy with the way Nigeria nation has treated us over the years. I think it will be the best option for Nigeria to give the Southeast a position and a turn in the presidency come 2023, just like we listened to the Yorubas after the June 12th. We listened to them and look at what Buhari the trick he's playing with the Bokos, the military bandits in the north. And Buhari was given the president thinking he would solve the problem. And we listened to the Niger Delta militants and gave them good luck, Ibele Jonathan. So why won't we listen to the Southeast? Our son, Onandikanu, is in custody because he's rooting for his people against injustice posed on them by the Nigerian government. Why won't it happen for agitators? To be given opportunity and a listening ear even though the agitators are saying they, they don't want the country to divide all things being equal they should be listened to the reason they want the country divide is because of the sense of injustice clamoring the country so southeast have come out to say if they don't get the presidency things will not be balanced in the country and clearly they have made mention and have referred to what happened on june 12th that was when MK Wabiola, we all know what happened at that time, when, you know, one of the most transparent election and Ibrahim Badamusi Babangida, you know, uh, rejected the result and refused to augur the, the request of the people by their vote and declare the election none. You know, the Yorubas were ready to leave the country. And this is what Uhanyezes is referring to. And to appease the Yorubas, we saw how someone who formed the political party was not given opportunity to be the president candidates they went ahead and they put you know a yoruba man and they gave the yoruba yoruba you know to ensure that they give they pacify you know the southwest today unandikano like he rightly stated is in custody 
not because he committed a crime, but because he has continued to say that there is oppression in the land and this oppression should come to an end. The Northerners have oppressed the Southeast for far too long. And the only cry here is give the Southeast an opportunity to come into leadership, to be able to contribute their quarter meaningfully. For over the decades, you know, every other region have had opportunity at one point or the other, but never a Southeasternan. And so this is the cry of the people. Why would the cry not be listened to? Why would it be ignored? And why will it be disdained? Onandi Kano will not cry for breakup of the country, all things being equal. He's only clamoring for the breakup of the country because his people has been marginalized, has been pushed aside, and has been made to, to see as if they are not part of the country. It's not because he, he hates the country or wants things to come to an end all of a sudden. No, no. All things being equal, you know, every, before, before Buhari came on board, nobody ever wanted Nigeria to divide. Nobody has ever talked about the visibility of, the, you know, Nigeria being divided. Nobody ever talked about that. The whole talk of Nigeria being divided came as a result of Buhari's, you know, negligence, as a, because of Buhari and the North. You know, the way they have treated, you know, the, 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 the Southeast. That's why you see, you feel very, uh, you know, treacherous that, you know, the Southeastern governors are, are, are dilly dally and are running around, you know, the presidency for their personal interest. If a people must move forward, the voice called unity is non-negotiable. It's not whether you, you don't rationalize with it, you run with it, you go with it. Because that is the only way to truly come out of a present, you know, oppression people are feeling. Unandi Kanu is asking that this, you know, the, 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 he wants the division, he wants the, the Igbos out because of the marginalization. And so the truth of the matter is, if truth is going to be told, if truth is going to come out, then everybody must stand up for what we call truth. You know, and he's saying the South, the, the Southwest wanted to leave Nigeria at that point in time because they felt out of place. You know, they felt out of place, and because you know, if the if the if the country now wants to restore, okay, the position of truth and justice in the country, they must now listen to the Southeast, like they least once listened to the South, the Southwest. You know, to bring Nigeria back to calm after the June 12th incident. Please leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. God bless you. Do have a lovely and a fantastic day. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Bye for now. Bye.